This is a Fender Tom DeLonge Strat from the early 2000s, and I've had it since new. It's been out of production for about 20 years now, and it's had a huge impact on my playing, my sound, my style, and it's had a huge influence on songwriting, and it's, it's a really special guitar, and even though I don't use it anymore, I haven't used it for a very long time, it's not a guitar I'd ever get rid of. And I don't know if you've checked the prices of them recently, but maybe check Reverb after this, but people are asking way more than what you would expect. And even for a Squire version, people want way more than you you're going to want to pay for what's essentially a stripped back strap even if it is one of the most recognizable and iconic uh, signature guitars that's been released over the last 25 years and if you're a guitar player of a certain age and style you understand how important this guitar is so let's see today if we can find a cheap way of scratching that nostalgic itch that you may have so it looks like we've got a box within a box so that's always a good start opening it upside down obviously that's a good start The guitar handbook, including videos. Looks like they've chucked in some fret butler. I've never used this before. So, Polystyrene, my good friend. We always have a really good time together. Okay, so we've got the Allen keys for saddles, truss rod, a really high quality guitar cable, and a guitar. I try so hard not to make a mess when I do this, but it never works. You ready for this? That's oh, a good colour. What do we think? We're off to a better start than my last unboxing because the neck is actually screwed into the body, which is always nice. It's got a huge neck. Like, first thing I've noticed is the neck is massive. I love it. Okay, so we've got a single volume, single pickup. Exactly what you want. Let's check out these frets. Not too bad, you can kind of feel them, but nothing to complain about really. That looks pretty good, which is good, because I don't mind polishing the frets up and doing the setup and whatever, but I don't really enjoy touching nuts. String trees pretty straight. Strap buttons are secure, unlike the last unboxing. Relief looks all right. Not much more else to check really. So this is the Faisley FTD 182SG, so F, Faisley, TD, Tom DeLong, although they can't say that, but I can. 182, I wonder what that means. SG, Surf Green. Now this kind of looks seafoam green in the monitor, but I'm going to put it up uh, next to the Tom DeLong strap, which is definitely Surf Green, so we can see. Yeah, it definitely looks more seafoam green, doesn't it? Which is fine because I'm pretty sure he did use some seafoam green struts as well. So, so let's go over some specs. It says surf green, and now the Tom DeLonge strat isn't next to it. It does kind of look surf green again. So I'm guessing it's somewhere between surf green and seafoam green. So roughly surf green. A basswood body as opposed to the older of the um, Tom DeLonge strat. A maple neck, same as the Tom DeLonge strat, but a maple fretboard. Uh, rosewood on the Tom DeLonge strut, so there's a difference there. 22 frets on this, no, 21 frets on this, so same as the Tom DeLonge strut. 25 and a half inch scale length, just the same. Truss rod, yes. So you're not a huge amount to go over in terms of spec. Hopefully this is a high output humbucker that will kind of get you in that same kind of territory as the Invader, but we'll check it out and we'll see uh, when we plug it in. But so far, that's a bit rough, we can stand that back. Frets are fine. Frets feel at least six million times better than the Glary. Yeah, so much better than the Glary. Neck plate has been put on straight. Bridge looks, bridge looks nice and straight. No marks in the finish. Yeah, finish looks good. So far, this is actually pretty promising. Get rid of it. It comes with this guitar handbook, which shows you how to tune, shows you a load of basic chords, how to change the strings. Actually, not too bad. So I'll tune it up, stretch the strings, tune it up, stretch the strings over and over again, and then we'll plug it in, see how it sounds. I won't do a direct comparison with the Tom DeLonge track just yet. We'll, I'll do the action, I'll set it all up properly, and then we'll do like a proper uh, shootout between this and the Tom DeLonge track in another video. Just for now, let's check out how it sounds. Okay, let's start off with a clean sound using the bridge humbucker, obviously. <laughs> So 
So let's use a crunchy sound playing some open chords. Straight away, I've noticed that the pickup, it's not pushing the amp very hard, and the pickup is not too far away from the from strings, so maybe let's try boosting it with, a, with an overdrive. So let's try it with more of a high gain tone. If you're after more of the post-2003 sound when the aliens started to arrive, check this out. And last of all, let's try out some lead sounds. So what do we think? What do I think? I think the, does it do that sound? That specific sound that we're looking for? Not really. Put a hot humbucker in, you probably get there. Am I happy with it? Yeah, yes. Really good. Buy this, don't buy a Glary. Do not buy a Glary. Obviously the most important questions, is it better than a Glary? Yes, it is. Is it better than a Harley Benson? Not really, it's about the same kind of quality as a Harley Benson. So, it's pretty good. Feels good. Um, the intonation definitely needs some work. The action's not too bad intonations kind of throwing it out a bit so what did you think of it maybe let me know down below because i'm just here on my own in this little room just alone with my thoughts and my fingers um so it'd be good to get uh get an idea of what you how you think it sounded. did it do that sound that the specific sound that we were looking for here got close didn't it is it good for a beginner yes is it good for a pop punk fan yes is it good for you i don't know you tell me is it inappropriate that I'm wearing a Metallica t-shirt while demoing this guitar? Maybe. Is it worth the money? 100% yes. This was 75 pounds, I think roughly about that amount. And it is worth every penny. So far, it's the best playing out of the box out of all the cheap guitars. I've got like the few Harley Bentons and the um, much better than the Glary. Don't buy a Glary. Yeah, I feel like I should be more enthusiastic about this actually because this is the one. If you're gonna buy a cheap guitar and you're into pop punk, uh, you don't mind being limited to the one pickup. This is the one. The colour looks good, even if it isn't 100% true to the original. Headstock shape, uh, it's, it's all right. Let's face it, if it's not a Fender, it's usually pretty ugly. So yeah, go and buy yourself this guitar. You will be happy, you will thank me. Um, 
if you get a bad one, let me know. I'd be really interested to hear that, but um, hopefully you don't. So I'm going to make another video doing more of a deep dive kind of demonstration of this guitar and a proper in-depth review. And then I'll make another video doing a more of a direct comparison against the Tom DeLonge strap. If you want to check out a guitar that's the complete opposite in terms of quality to this guitar, check out this video here. It's the Glory GST. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.